Did you know that you can get better at playing the clarinet without even getting your instrument out? If you like this video, be sure to press that like button, subscribe, and follow the link in the description to officially join the Quick Start Clarinet community. It is 100% true that you can get better without even having to get your clarinet out, and the way to do that is through mental practicing. So you may have heard of the term mental practicing before, uh, but I wanna dive in a little bit and really talk about what that means and how to do it effectively. So first of all, what is mental practicing? Well, there have been some studies, um, and these happened several, several years ago, um, where people, scientists, actually hooked up uh, Olympic athletes and like monitored their muscles and their brain waves um, and had them imagine uh, doing whatever their event was. Uh, and they actually found that the same brain waves and the same like muscles fire when they're just visualizing it or mentally practicing it as do when they were actually doing it. So the, the brain research sense has shown that basically everything we do is a series of brain waves um, and, and neural pathways in your brain and through to your muscles when it involves moving, like playing the clarinet. Um, and the research shows that you get good at doing whatever you're doing. And the, the previous study with the Olympic athletes shows that you can basically do those things just by visualizing it and without actually even having to do it. So basically, mental practicing is doing the activity for your brain, um, and it has like 90% of the same, same results as if you were actually doing it. Um, I'm not sure about the, the actual statistics, but it's like almost a one-to-one -one correlation of visualizing or mentally practicing something uh, and then actually doing it. So how do we do mental practicing on the clarinet? Uh, there's a number of different ways to do this. Uh, I remember when I was in middle school, we would have these uh, scale tests and we would have like chair challenges to, to try to be first chair. Um, and in, in my classes before band or, or in the morning when I was getting ready, I would be like thinking through the scales and I would even like sort of airplay it without, without my clarinet, which is still somewhat of a form of mental practicing even though I was moving my fingers. And I really felt like it made it easier to play the scales and I, I got benefit from doing that just by thinking through it. So that's like a very uh, basic way of mental practicing. I had to play something and I just sort of thought through how it went and maybe thought about the finger patterns a little bit. That's, that's very general. Um, there's some more specific things that you can do to get even more in depth. One of the huge benefits of mental practicing is that you can do things differently than you could actually do on the clarinet. So let's look at the like actual mechanic aspects of mental practicing first. So some of the mechanical things that you can practice or the technical things are like actually how your fingers move, um, what your mouth has to do, what your tongue has to do, uh, what your air has to do, all of those, those different things that are like the technical aspects of playing the clarinet. So through mental practicing, you can actually go really in depth and not just think about like playing through a scale or whatever you're trying to learn, but actually really think about how your fingers are moving and visualize your hands being like really relaxed and moving uh, with minimal motion um, and being very, very precise with how your fingers are moving. Um, and again, you don't even have to like actually move your fingers to do this. You can just sort of like sit there, um, maybe closing your eyes might help to prevent distractions and literally just think about how your fingers are gonna move through a difficult uh, passage in music or even just through a scale. Um, and by focusing on those fingers like sort of in slow motion and really in detail, you build that neural pathway even stronger than maybe if you were trying to play through it. Some of the other technical things that you can practice through mental practicing is thinking about your embouchure, right? We wanna have like a firm bottom lip and a flat pointed chin, right? So you can think about what that would feel like and even try to make the face without, without the clarinet, um, which is very, very beneficial um, and maybe strays a little bit away from the realm of mental practicing, but just visualizing what that would look like, imagining how, how those muscles need to go uh, in order to make 
the the proper embouchure uh, are all good ways. You can do the same thing for your tongue, thinking about how you have to aim the air and like what it should sound like, the air going into the instrument and, and all of those different things. The other kind of mental practicing is more focused on the music. So again, a general way to do this is like I was doing with the scales, just sort of like imagining how it's going da 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 um, or whatever uh, the scale is and, and or whatever the music is, um, and just sort of thinking about how it goes. And this can go a long way even in itself. Maybe you listen to a recording and then sort of have a memory of how the recording sounds and play that through in your head and you're already getting better. Um, a more detailed way of doing it is actually getting out your music, uh, which I know I said you don't have to get out your clarinet to do any mental practicing, but you may have to get out your music. Um, so you get out your sheet music for the song you're studying and look at it and imagine what it would feel like to, to play through that. And a really huge, huge benefit of this is that you can actually get more detail through mental practicing. When you're playing the clarinet and like playing through a piece, uh, there's really only so much detail you can get because you're thinking about like how to play the clarinet, thinking about like how to finger those notes. Um, your brain is, is involved in a ton of stuff when you're playing music. But if you take the clarinet away and you're just mentally practicing the music, you can really like see every detail in the ink printed on the music and, and take your time to go through it and imagine how it goes. Mentally practicing music has huge, huge benefits for when you're actually playing. The Really the best way to play, like what you should be thinking about when you're playing is how the music goes and, and imagining that in your head so that you can get the clarinet to do that and, and have the audience hear the music. So by mentally practicing the music, you're getting a really concrete idea of how the music goes so that you're not just sort of like, wiggling your fingers and and seeing what comes out and approximately like getting things right if you have a really concrete idea of how the music goes from your mental practicing then when you go to do that on the clarinet and you ask the instrument to to do it right you'll have such a clear image of how it goes that your your playing will be way way ahead of as if you had just started by playing so mental practicing is great for technique on the clarinet and maybe even better for learning musical details um, so that you can, can execute those when you try to play it on the clarinet. I hope that these thoughts on mental practicing have helped you to uh, consider different ways that you can practice, especially without getting your clarinet out. I know, even me personally, even sometimes now, uh, Getting the clarinet out is just it's just a lot of work. You have to get all the pieces together. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. But it is truly, sometimes it feels like a chore to get the instrument out. But even if you don't do that, you can still advance with your, with your musicality and with your playing simply by thinking through the music, thinking through how to play, um, and doing this mental practice. I hope that mental practicing can be beneficial to your life. Uh, and if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, uh, comment, uh, subscribe, and happy practicing, happy mental practicing, and I'll see you in another video.